Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another figure review for the month of February. And today we're going to be looking at one of my first, um, I would say one of my first favorite heroes growing up as a kid. Um, this is Robocop. Robocop has been a huge, I've been a huge fan of Robocop, like, since I was a kid. Um, and I enjoyed all the movies. I mean, my favorite one is obviously the first one. Second one was good. Third one, meh, was alright. But anyway, um, this guy, how NECA has made him or sculpted him is just a breathtaking view from the past like if you remember seeing this guy on the screen or in the theater you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you see him now there are other there are other Robocops out there but they are <laughs> they are very expensive to own especially the hot toys the hot toys can run you for maybe five hundred dollars but if you're on a tight budget and you're looking to collect some classic movies from, I mean figures from classic movies that you enjoyed as a kid, then I would recommend go with NECA. NECA has been doing a fantastic job with these figures. Now, let's take a look at him. Now, this is the Robocop from actually the very first one, Robocop 1. Um, yes, so... Right off the bat, you can tell, like, look how much detail they put into this guy. He's pretty tall, actually. He's like, uh, do I have a measuring tape here? Yes, I do. I believe he's about seven inches. So let's see. Oh, he's actually a little bit above that. He stands, yeah, maybe seven and a half, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. So his head can move, like, from side to side. His head can move down, it can move up, and his shoulders can go to right about there, and his arms can can do a full 360, his arm can go to right about there when it's bended, and he's got a twist at the waist, he's got a bent at the knee, he's got this nice piston Thing on his back which is a really cool touch I had one back here but it broke so you got to be careful about that I just got to super glue this and then it'll be fixed just like that I just got to be careful with that when you guys open it or when you when you bend his uh, his, his ankle now now I know what you guys are thinking like wow that Robocop that's all the articulation he has can't really do the splits he only goes up to about about there the reason why they did this is that because Robocop was not that articulated. He's a he's a robot, man. This guy weighs like, I don't know, a couple, ten tons of, of metal on him. So he's heavy, So and he moves very slow. If everyone remembers the movie, he moves very slow. Okay? So that's why they made him like this. And he's got a lot of parts to him, so they wanted to catch like the important details of the figure. Look at this. They even put this in here. This is straight from the... I'm sorry, but this, these little hash marks here, that's straight from the movie. It has exactly that. Wow. Outstanding. All right, so what does he do? Is that it? Just You think he's just a figure? No, he does something very cool. But before we get to that, let's look at some of his accessories. So here is his pistol. They did a really nice job with the pistol. Looks exactly from the movie. That just goes right here into his arm. And there we go. Ready to go and ready to stop crime. So that's one accessory he comes with. And he also comes with his interchangeable, uh, like, data collecting hand. Where he inserts this and then he twists it to get his data. If everyone remembers that. So all you got to do is just yank this off and then just slit it on. I don't want to yank mine off because... I don't know, I'm just too lazy to do it right now, and it could be a pain to put it on there. But anyway, this guy is a great piece to add to any any fan of, of the Robocop series, or if you, saw him, if you enjoyed watching him as a kid, 
And yeah, so let me get to the cool part that they, what he can do. All right, so check this out. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't that awesome? They NECA actually put this into the figure. They installed this in huge uh, piece here, and the gun actually goes inside. It's a little bit annoying to put it in. I don't know if I can do it right now. Maybe I can do it in one shot. I don't know, it's really annoying to put it in. Oh, I got it in, actually. And then you just... Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. You just got to play with it, but it goes in there. And then you close it, and then it will be inside his... His, uh... His thigh. Very cool. I really like that they did that. But other than that, that's it. This is all I can say about him. I mean, the paintwork on him is outstanding. I mean... It truly represents from the original RoboCop. I mean, the the new RoboCop that came out in theaters. I don't know what the hell that was. That was complete garbage. This is the RoboCop that they should make another movie of. This guy was just outstanding in, in the films. Yeah, I remember watching the movie as a kid. And I was just blown away to, to see this guy on the big screen. Yeah. All right. So, uh, before I go, let me show you just how tall he is compared to the Terminator. Alright, so, they stand about, they are roughly the same, same height. Roughly the same height. And, yeah, back to back. Yeah, they stand almost roughly the same height. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool to see these two in a movie? A Terminator versus Robocop. That would be so cool to put these two in a movie. Be much better than all these crap movies that we've been getting these past few years. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well out there in YouTube land. Have a great uh, day. And tune in next time for another figure review. So if you guys haven't noticed, I'm actually doing my uh, movie figure uh, collection. I don't have a lot. I have only just a handful, but uh, promise, I promise you, you will not be disappointed in my collection. When I finish my movie collection reviews, I'm going to do a full top 10, my top 10 favorite figures here, and then I think that's going to be it. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retire from doing my figure reviews, but uh, I'm glad everyone's enjoying my videos, and yeah, stay tuned. More to come. All right, peace out. And then, uh, sorry, I really want to put him in this cool pose before he signs off. Epic. Okay, everyone, have a nice day. Peace out.